Good morning and happy Easter. It is a little bit sad though that we aren't able to be together and be able to worship God in the church. But I just wanted to read the Easter story with you from the Friends with God Story Bible written by Jeff White and illustrated by David Harrington. Because I Love You by Jesus. Matthew 27, 27 to 28, 10. I'm going to tell you the most important story ever told. It won't be easy for you to hear, but I promise you this, it has the happiest ending in the history of happy endings. It started when the Roman soldiers arrested me while I was praying. One of my dearest friends had betrayed me to them, and all for a little bit of money. That hurt. They took me to stand trial in front of Pontius Pilate, the local governor. The people accused me of being a traitor, although Pilate couldn't find anything I had done wrong. But the people insisted on killing me anyway. Just a week earlier, they had been cheering me on. Now they wanted me dead. That hurt, too. It was then that the guards started beating me. They hit me and spit on me. They mocked me, calling me King of the Jews and they draped a red robe over my shoulders. Then they made a crown out of sharp thorns and put it on my head. That hurt so bad, I could barely move, but it only got worse. The guards made a big cross out of wooden beams. Even though I had no strength left, they made me carry that cross, with people along the road yelling at me. It was so heavy, every step was torture. When I finally couldn't go any further, they made another man carry that heavy cross for me. They marched me up a hill to a creepy area called the Place of the Skull. The pain was unbearable. I could barely catch my breath. The soldiers tried to give me a bitter drink to ease the pain, but I wouldn't take a sip. I needed to endure every jolt, every stab, every sting, and there were so many. I had nothing left. Still, they kept mocking me. If you're the son of God, why don't you save yourself? They shouted. But they didn't know. They didn't understand that God wanted me to go through this. They didn't know this was God's plan. Worst of all, they didn't realize how much I loved them. Every tear, every drip of blood was for them. It was almost the end. The sky turned black. Every breath was a struggle. I never felt more alone in my life. I hung my head. I couldn't take another breath. The moment I died, things got scary. The ground shook. Rocks split apart. People wept. The curtain in the temple sanctuary split in half. Tombs opened up and dead people began to come back to life. That terrified the soldiers. They realized in an instant what they had done. They had killed me. God's son. Later, a rich man named Joseph took my body and wrapped it in cloths. Then he buried me in a tomb carved out of the rocks and rolled a big stone across the entrance. Yet my killers were nervous. They'd heard me talk about coming back from the dead. They thought my followers might come to steal my body and claim I wasn't dead anymore. So they placed guards there to make sure nothing happened. But something did happen. Three days later, everything changed. As soon as the sun cracked the morning sky, an earthquake rattled the tombs as one of God's radiant angels swept down and rolled the stone away. Then he hopped up and sat on it. The guards were so scared they passed out. Just then, Mary Magdalene and my other friend, named Mary, came to visit the tomb. But when they saw the angel, their jaws dropped do not be afraid, said the angel. Jesus isn't here anymore. He's alive again. Hurry and go. Tell his followers. Mary Magdalene and Mary took one glance at the empty tomb and started running fast. They were frightened and excited and shocked and thrilled all at the same time. And when they saw me standing in the middle of the road, they ran even faster. You're alive, they cried, and I would stay alive this time forever. 
I didn't want to be tortured and killed. I dreaded it. Even so, I knew it was the only way to save everyone, everyone, from evil and help them find forgiveness for the wrong things they do. I had to do it. I wanted to do it. And I did it because I love you. You. I can't say it enough. I love you, my friend. All you have to do is believe it. Tell God right now what you think about me. I wanted to share that story with you, hopefully to encourage you today that Jesus is dead no longer. He has been raised from the dead. And because Jesus has conquered death, we are able to say, O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? One day, we will be resurrected and have eternal life with him because of the work that Jesus did here on earth. I hope you have a great Easter, and I hope you're reminded that we too are able to have eternal life because of the work of Jesus. Have a blessed day.